Hello and welcome to Science Fun with Miss Mary. If you picked up a kit from the library, inside that you will find a small cauldron, two little tabs that are our food coloring, two containers full of a white powder and that's our baking soda, and two cups that are liquid and that's vinegar. Today we're learning about chemical reactions. A chemical reaction is a process where two different substances or elements are mixed together and then they undergo some sort of chemical change to become a completely different substance altogether. And today we're gonna have a little fun with that. <clears throat> Before we start our experiment today, you may want to do this inside your sink or if you have a tray or something to catch the liquid. This is gonna get a little messy. Since I'm in a room with a table, I just have this tin that I'm gonna do mine in to show you, but it might be easier to do it in sort of a sink or if it's nice outside, you could do it outside, but ask your parents. The first thing you're gonna do is see that you have two cups of the liquid, that's our vinegar, and two cups of the powder, which is the baking soda, and two different color food tabs and one cauldron. You are able to do this experiment two times, but we're gonna do it once first, and then you would rinse everything and then do it again. So I'm gonna start with the first time. So I'm gonna take one, of the vinegar liquid and open that up. And then you're gonna pick one of the food tabs to start with and you're gonna place it into the vinegar. And you're gonna see that food tablet slowly started to dissolve and make that clear liquid, whatever color tablet you just put in. While that is doing that, I'm gonna put my cauldron where it's safe. I'm gonna put the powder inside. Now we talked about a chemical reaction. That is taking two different elements and putting them together and creating something new. So what do you think is gonna happen when we mix our baking soda and our vinegar? Do you have any ideas? All right, I think we are ready. So I'm gonna carefully take my vinegar that's now a different color, and I'm gonna slowly pour it into my cauldron that has my baking soda powder in there. As we do this, I want you to watch and see what's happening and see if you can see the reaction. That was pretty cool. Did you see the reaction that happened? When we mix the baking soda and vinegar, we had a chemical reaction that caused bubbling. So our liquid and our powder, our solid, combined together and created a gas. That carbon dioxide that came up is what made the bubbles. Pretty cool, right? So what you can do is rinse this out. You could shake it a little bit and make sure all the baking soda was used. If you completely rinse this out, you can do the experiment one more time. So I'm gonna set this off to the side I'm gonna open up my second container of vinegar 
and pop that food coloring in so that way that can dissolve while I'm rinsing this. Right, now that this is all cleaned off, I'm going to put my powder inside the cauldron just like last time. And as soon as my food coloring tablet is fully dissolved, I'm gonna put that in there. Now if you had fun with this experiment, you can keep doing it. You just have to purchase some baking soda and vinegar. All right, here goes the next one. A chemical reaction happens when the molecules of one substance break apart and then combine together with the other substance's molecules so that a different compound can be created. And you can see that here. Like I mentioned, the first one is our baking soda, our second one is our vinegar. And when they're combined together, they create three different elements. And at the very end, you can see the carbon dioxide gas. And that's what we see formed with the bubbles. I hope you had fun with our witch's brew science experiment, where we learned a little bit about chemical reactions. I hope you have a good Halloween.